Hey guys, it's me, EOD Gaming here, and super excited for this one. Robin has officially been drip marketed. If any of you have been playing the story, how is she still here? I have no idea, but uh, it's great. Great news means we are in for a twist upcoming. I have no idea. I haven't seen any of the unreleased content or footage or whatsoever. So don't spoil me in the comments, and please respect if you already know, for example. Just don't give any like leaked spoilers or anything related to the story. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts of this character in terms of like what we know so far in terms of the data analysis of other characters. But first things first, let's talk about the fun part. She is voiced by Alice Himora and she is a five-star physical harmony character. Super interesting because now we have like three limited five-star harmony characters. If any of you just put Sparkle and you want to put Acheron as well, probably this character you'll be very low on resources. Hopefully a kid isn't super, super busted and making her like a super meta character and stuff like that. Uh, but first, voice actor. Um, she seems to be quite well versed with quite a few big games not too many unlike like some other ones that, that, for example we are scrolling down here she is in uh, Fire Emblem Heroes a little bit she is in Pokemon Masters and other games not too many uh, that I know of some podcasts here and there she's of course here in Honkai Star Rail other than that smaller ones so not a massive like super big um, voice actor and stuff like that but still pretty decent overall uh, I, so far, I think her voice is pretty good. Now, haven't really seen too much of Robin in the story so far, so maybe she'll get more uh, appearance later. Who knows? So that is for the English VA. Of course, if you guys are interested in the JP VA, the Chinese VA, and Korean VA, um, that is, I usually listen in, in English. You can just feel free to take a look at the rest. Right here, they only release like, the English voice here, so that's why I'm not like checking out the rest. Let's go on to the data part of things, and I want to share with you what I expect from this particular character. So here, we, I just put in, in the database over here a character placeholder like Robin. Uh, Robin, obviously, we don't know any of the, the stats of her so far. All we know is like she's a physical 5-star harmony. And these over here are like the average stats that I expect from most characters in the game. So if, But I think that like average stats is not very useful. Let's take a look at her peer group comparison. And what I'm going to do is like I'm going to click a harmony category here and we can see all the different uh, harmony characters in the game. So... Based on like a peer group comparison, what I notice is generally speaking, how many characters, the five stars, have much higher stat efficiency in terms of uh, being very high up above the average compared to the others on the list. So if you are a harmony character and you are four stars, four is like the average. You're generally, if you're a four star, you're below average. So this is the only like class, the only path that five stars and four stars deviate very significantly in terms of stats. Why this matters is if you look over here on the right hand side, if any of you who are paying, like watching this video in the background, take a look on the screen now. Look at the top three characters, Sparkle, Bronya, and Ronmi versus like all the other four stars that are below. You can see that their HP stat is significantly higher for Sparkle, Bronya, Ronmi compared to the other four stars, and so is their defense stats. What this means is they are much more chunkier. It's a lot easier to run the three star mashing cocks with these units if you needed to, and they won't be like paper thin, squishy. Look at Ting Yun, she's like barely even alive with the amount of HP and defense stats that she has. So that is pretty significant. As a 5 star, I would expect Robin to also be quite high in terms of stat efficiency. Um, speed here is all, all over the place. Some of them are really slow, like Bronya is like 99. Some of them are really fast, like Ting Yun is like 112. But generally, we see a significant split in terms of stat efficiency for these two units. Uh, in terms of burst cost, there is no clear trend as well. They are all over the place. So if we take a look at like the 5 stars over here, let me just press the 5 stars. We can see that, um, for example, Ronmi is like 130 burst cost on this dot here on this axis. You have some characters that's like 110, this is like Sparkle. Bronya is smack in the average at 120. Generally, most characters in the game have like 120 plus energy. So Bronya is probably the average and we can see that they might deviate a little bit from the mean. The four stars, when you add that in, it becomes a little bit more fairer. You have the average of the Harmony characters being at 126, which is why Mashing Cock is so good for this class, because a lot of them do require higher than average um, energy stats. Um, here we can see a lot of them are above. The ones that are below 126 is like Esther, Bronya, as well as Sparkle, who's like the lowest out of all the burst cores of them so far. So we can expect that Robin probably will be lying somewhere into the mean with decent stats to rival Sparkle Bronya. So if any of you who are looking out for uh, future information, these are the, inform the stats that I will be primarily focused on, making sure that they have above average stats. So if you see these orange lines here, make sure that they are at least average and above average for certain categories. Uh, I would like speed. I would like some HP defense for a chunkier character too. So that is her peer group. Now more useful is I want to go and compare across the board for like 
uh, physical characters. <laughs> Okay, so physical characters in the game, these are the ones that probably will benefit from a physical harmony character being added. Currently, we only have Hanya in the game. And um, the thing about Hanya is she might be not super meta, unlike like, a 5-star limited character. Uh, Sparkle and uh, Ronmi are of course super, super good as we all know. So we can expect Robin to be around the same if not she exposes to a new playstyle. So the characters here uh, that you have in the game are like Clara right now, you have Natasha, who is a defensive unit, so we don't care about that. Maybe I'll just like filter by Erudition, um, Nihility, and Hunt. So I'll take away all the supports, and we can see like the characters that currently benefit. Clara, Argenti, Lucas, Su uh, Susang. None of them are like super popular right now, other than maybe like Clara Argenti, who is a like, memory of uh, uh, pure fiction Argenti. Clara is like generally useful, but she's a standard five star, so requires a bit of gacha to get. Uh, Argenti is probably the one that benefits the most. In future, if we get more physical characters coming into the game, I do think that Robin will likely shine a lot more. But for now, the limited cast, um, I will have to see what she does in order to expect more. Unlike Sparkle, straight away, like we knew when we looked at Quantum, you had like many, many popular DPSs. And for example, uh, once we found out that she was able to even do um, skill point buffing, she's of course a lot better for other categories. For example, like I straight away run me was good for meta characters like Ting Liu already. So it's very, very useful. Whereas like physical, mm, a bit mixed here in my opinion, like Argenti, Pure Fiction doesn't really need that much buffing either. But yeah, if you guys appreciate such content, check out our recent video that we did where I actually went into like all the main stats in the entire game for relics, which I think is going to be quite fun uh, to see what is the most efficient relics to farm, what is the efficient main stats to keep as well. And I'll be definitely doing this kind of content for the next few characters that are coming up so that I can give you a sense of where to, what am I looking for. And if you found this video helpful, like and subscribe for more of such future data-driven content as well as like chill one. Uh, but yeah, see you in the next video.